Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel! This is Mom Saibel Explains. This video is all about surface area of a rectangular prism. Example, a box is in the shape of rectangular prism, has a length 25 meters with 15 meters and height 10 meters. What is the surface area of the box in square meters? How does a rectangular prism look like? A rectangular prism can be defined as a three-dimensional solid shape which has six phases that are rectangles. It has a length of 25 meters, width of 15 meters, and height of 10 meters. How many faces do we have in this solid figure? First, we have the front and back. So they're identical. We also have left and the right face. We also have the top and then the bottom. In order to get the surface area of the rectangular prism, we have to add all the area of its surfaces. So we have the front, back, left, right, top, and bottom. We have to take note that front and back faces have the same area. Left and right have also the same area and the top and bottom also having the same area. I want to ask, what is the shape of these faces? It is in the shape of rectangle. How to find the area of the rectangle? We only need to multiply its length and its width. Let us have first the front and back faces. How does it look like? It has length of 25 meters and a height of 10 meters so that's going to be length times height times 2 because we have the front and then we have the back so what's the length it's 25 times the height which is 10 and we will just multiply it to 2 to get the answer and that is 25 times 10 is equal to 250 times 2 that's going to be 500 meters squared. This is for the front and back faces. Now let's move on to the left and right faces. We have here the width which is 15 meters and a height of 10 meters. So if we're going to solve that, 15 times 10 and then times it to 2 because we have two faces, the left and the right. And that's going to be 15 times 10 is 150 times 2. That's 300 meters squared. This is for our left and right faces. Now let's move on to our top and the bottom faces. How does it look like? It has a length of 25 meters and a width of 15 meters. That's going to be 25 times 15. And then times it to 2 because we have two faces, the top and the bottom faces. What is 25 times 15? So let's try to solve it here. 25 times 15. 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times 2 is 10 plus 2 is 12. 1 times 5 is 5, 1 times 2 is 2. Then we will just add 5, 7, and 3. So times it to 2. 375 times 2. The 5 times 2 is 10. 2 times 7 is 14 plus 1, 15. 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1 is 750. So 750 meters squared. This is for our top and bottom faces we are not done yet because we still have to add all this area to get the total surface area of this rectangular box so we will add that we will have 500 meters squared plus 300 meters squared plus 750 meters squared going to add this 500 plus 300 is equal to 800. 800 plus 750, that's going to be 1,550 
meter squared. That is our surface area of this rectangular prism. And that's it. Final answer. Mr. De Vinigracia needs to buy some cardboard to build a box 12 inches long, 8 inches wide, and 10 inches high. How much cardboard is needed to build the box? I already drew the box here. We just have to label its dimensions. The length here is 12 inches. The width is 8 inches. And the height is 10 inches. So in the previous discussion, I already have mentioned that we have six faces. We have the front and back, which are identical. Left and right, also identical. And top and bottom, also of the same size and shape. All we need to do now is to identify these rectangles. For the front and back, the length is 12 inches. Height of 10 inches. Now we're ready to solve. That's going to be 12 times 10 and multiply it to 2 because we have two faces that's going to be 12 times 10 is equal to 120 times 2 that's 240 inches squared this is for our front and back for the left and right faces we have the width of 8 inches and the height of 10 inches we're ready to solve. That's going to be 8 inches times 10 inches times 2 because we have two faces. 8 times 10 is equal to 80 times 2, 160 square inches. This is for our left and right faces. Now for the top and bottom faces, let's draw that. It has a length of 12 inches and a width of 8 inches now we're ready to solve that's 8 inches times 12 inches times it to 2 8 times 12 is equal to 96 96 times 2 is equal to 192 square inches and this is for our top and bottom faces we're ready to solve for the total surface area 240 square inches plus 160 square inches and plus 192 square inches 240 plus 160 is equal to 400 400 plus 192 that's 592 square inches this is our final answer. Mr. Agustin needs to buy 592 square inches of cardboard to build this rectangular prism. And we're done! Don't forget to hit the like button if you think this is helpful. Till next time!